സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് നോക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് ആൻറ്റിരിവ ബീം സ്ട്രക്ചറിൻ്റെ സ്പ്രിങ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റിൻ്റെ ഡെറിവേഷൻ ആണ് സോ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഈസ് ലൈക്ക് ഫൈൻ ദ സ്പ്രിങ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് is uh, given by or represented by k of cantilever beam structure so uh, first of all uh, generally or is spring in the structure mark edittunde so this is having uh, one end is uh, freely suspended and one end is attached to some some base so here this is uh, the initial structure of a spring with zero force applied and when we apply some force there will be change in deflection there will be change in deflection that is this is uh, when the force is zero and now we had a deflection till this point so here deflection we call it as displacement and it is marked as x and this is when the force is applied f is applied okay so when the force is applied the spring from its initial state will have a displacement and reaches a new state and uh, the displacement between the initial state and the new state is marked as x and the general expression according to the hooke's law the spring constant k is defined as f is equal to force divided by displacement okay. and uh, this this is a general situation for uh, spring constant suppose if you are having two springs attached together two springs attached together and it is connected to and the spring attachment is in a parallel shape there spring 1 and spring 2 they are connected in parallel and a single force is applied f then the spring constant of the first spring is marked as k1 and the spring constant of the second spring is marked as k2 and the equivalent spring constant if they are connected in parallel will be k is equal to k1 plus k2 okay so this is uh, one case when the springs are connected in parallel the second case is the springs are connected in series so we have a base here the first spring is attached like this it is having a spring constant k1 and it is marked as spring 1 and this spring is connected to the second spring in series and it has a spring constant k2 and the naming is given as s2 okay. so the equivalent spring constant is 1 by k is equal to 1 by k1 plus and by k2 so this is uh, our uh, expression for the spring constant when uh, we are dealing with a normal spring that is the original spring but we cannot use this spring for our mem structure so instead of that we use a cantilever cantilever beam that shows the same activity as that of a spring cantilever use edittana nammala mems il spring related aayittulla activities nadathunnathu okay cantilever beam de or structure varikkona so we, we will plot a three dimensional structure of cantilever beam so this is a structure of cantilever and uh, it is having a length of distance l and the thickness the width is marked as w and it is having a thickness t okay so these are the dimensions available for the cantilever structure and uh, now we are going to find out the spring constant of this cantilever structure okay 
this part of the cantilever structure is actually connected to some base which is uh, which is said to be as fixed part of the cantilever structure okay and we can apply force at any point in this cantilever structure so we can apply force here here etc okay but uh, when you look about uh, the deflection of this cantilever according to the force applied we will have maximum deflection at this point which is con 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 considered as free space or free load point this point is considered as free load point okay so when we apply the force at this point we will obtain maximum deflection we will obtain maximum deflection and this deflection is marked as here it is marked as x so here also we mark this deflection as dx okay and now we are going to find out the spring constant of this particular deflection with the force applied so finding out the spring constant uh, when we apply this uh, force uh, we will have to define it like in terms of an angle and we call this angle as bend angle so when we apply this force I will, do, I will draw the diagram of the deflection like this. Okay. So, this will be the structure and this will be the deflection obtained. We will draw a line here and this angle is set to be as bend angle. So, bend angle theta is defined as the uh, equation for bend angle is FL square. This is a standard equation. Uh, we are not supposed to derive this equation. Okay. So, F into length square divided by E stands for Young's modulus which is stress by strain and I stands for moment of inertia. Okay. So, uh, from this uh, bend angle, uh, we are supposed to find the vertical displacement. We are supposed to find the vertical displacement is marked as x. x is equal to fl square divided by 3 into ei this is standard value for the vertical displacement okay so now we will have the value for x first we will calculate the bend angle second we calculate the vertical displacement x is equal to f into l square divided by 3 into e into i okay and uh, from this equation we can find out the spring constant a according to the Hooke's law is equal to f divided by x substitute the value for x here we will get f divided by V into E I divided by so we have a correction it is L cube. Okay. So it will be F into L cube. Okay. So F and F will be cancelled, the balance will be constant will be 3 into e i divided by l q So we can rewrite this in terms of uh, the dimension width 
thickness and length by the equation E into W T cube divided by 4 by T. Okay. So, uh, when the spring constant, we now we, we will define it in terms of spring constant. So, the spring constant will reduce when the length is increased. Okay. And, uh, And the spring constant uh, is influenced by width and if thickness is slightly increased, thickness is slightly increased, then spring constant will be very high. Because uh, spring constant is proportional to thickness cube. Okay. So we are finding out the spring constant in terms of the available dimension which is with the thickness and length. Okay. So this is the expression for our spring constant. The next topic is regarding the intrinsic steps. You are going to discuss that topic in the next video. You are supposed to watch this uh, and try to. Uh, explain it with the uh, learn by yourself uh, with the notes given. Yes, within the coping and group life, I will check it. Notes check it for you. Thank you.